Hi, thanks again for watching Jeeps Rock. On this episode, we're going to be comparing the Tuffy security enclosure that you see here versus the diabolical slipstream. Since this one's already installed, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like from the inside out and what it would look like with the, with the uh, seats up. And then what we'll do is we'll rip this out and put the diabolical slipstream in. Again, once you see the two comparisons, there really is not a comparison, but I wanna go ahead and show you that since this is already installed. And just keep in mind the word modularity. Modularity and diabolical go hand in hand, and I'll kinda of show you a little bit more of that once we get the diabolical installed. So thanks again for watching, and while we're getting set up to show you the difference, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But how it works is there are five of these little bolts here that you turn and then that locks those pieces in and it goes to the side. So it is completely sealed. The thing with this system though is everyone that has still has the Jeep kind of mat in here. You can see right away that you can see how much this has been bent up and it curls up about that far. So that's how much space you're losing because it cuts off before it gets to the seat. So even if you have one of these, you can see how much it rolls up. So that's one drawback for me is I can't even lay this all the way out, but you can see this is probably a good six, maybe about six to eight inches of, of loss of just not keeping that enclosure all the way as far as you can to the seats. So I just want to show you that that's how much it's rolled up. So it doesn't fit in all the way. But it does close all the way. It gives you enclosure. You put quite a bit of weight on it. It also has these kind of like tie downs that you have to kind of bolt in. But it gives you four tie downs. And again, there's still sides on either side. So it's a completely enclosure. No one can get into it once the tailgate's been closed. From the back of the seat is how this works. You have one piece here, second piece here, and then they come together with, again, we have four of these total bolts here, they're carriage bolts that fit through and on the other side. So it's very difficult with one person because as you can see, you can't really put your hand here and get your hand all the way around. So it's very difficult for one person if you want to remove this. But what I had to do is almost put like a piece of tape here, really heavy duty tape, go on the other side and hope that I don't push it back out. So it does allow for people that can't get into it because you can't get it like a wrench on here or any kind of like tools but it is very difficult if you're by yourself to put these two pieces together. So with this design, you're losing about three inches of space that could be secured. The way that this one's designed, it's got more of a sloped back to it to kind of match the same slope as the back of the seat. But again, doing that, you lose three inches of security space. You can still put stuff behind here, but again, it's not gonna be secured. So you're losing three inches of space and it go all the way across. You're losing quite a bit of storage that can be put in there and secured. All right, I just want to show you real quickly. This is another box from Diabolical Inc. And what this is going to be is for those that might want to be doing like a pull-out fridge or something like that, or they're just looking for even more additional secured space in the Jeep. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just show you a little bit more of what's in this box, um, just to show you how well everything is packaged. Everything you see is just an example of what Diabolical does for their packaging. It's beyond impressive. Um, We'll go ahead and get this box open. So before we just remove the whole bunch of these, uh, it's like almost like a styro, a real heavy duty styrofoam. That way, nothing comes uh, damaged from Diabolical. I mean, the box is in perfect shape. So I'm just going to be real careful here and try to get this off of here without cutting anything. But I mean, everything is just wrapped beyond. It's like meticulously packaged. Again, I'm trying not to cut, because I know what's in here, but I just don't want to cut anything. This is gonna be their six inch storage box, top. You can see how tight it is. more it looks like. Yeah, 
And what this is, is a six inch top that you can add to your already impressive diabolical slipstream. And this is gonna give you another six inches of storage. And what they did for us on this particular build that we're doing on the dark side, is this is actually a tattered powder coating. It's really cool, it's got like a texture to it versus just your flat powder coat. And that is awesome. That's almost like you'd see on your, um, like heavy bit, like heavy storage bins and stuff that you'd put in your in your shop, like those gladiators type thing, but it's an awesome powder coating. So it's almost like a tattered texture to it, a little bit of a silver flake into it, but man, it's nice. So there you go. We are now in front of what we're gonna be running for 2019, our Diabolical Slipstream XLS. And I'm gonna go ahead and stand up as straight as I can. I'm 6'1". As you can see, this is a lot higher. This is the only one that I'm aware of, of the security of that height. So everything inside here is completely um, enclosed and secure. So this is a lot of real estate that you can have locked up with all your, all your valuables. And then again, even with this as high and raised up as it is, you still have even places for your containers and they have nice tie downs here. We've got these all tied down ratcheted so when we're hitting those trails, we don't have to worry about stuff sliding around. They've even thought enough to, when you're taking off your top, if you want to, you can slide this and close this and put these away if you wanted to, if you're running a nice clean look, or we're normally gonna have our hard top on, so we just had those slide right through there. And then we also have our GPCA um, tie downs on the ends, instead of using our standard like bolts that would come with the Jeep. And that even gives us even more tie down capability from here, from here, whatever we want to do to tie anything even on the sides of our bars, we can do that too. And I had mentioned earlier about the modularity. And again, the way the Diabolical uses this is there's all different options you can do. So if you don't want this extra six inches of security enclosure, what you can do is you can get a flat plate that goes across, which will then allows you to open and tilt it two different um, sizes on for like half of it or all the way open. But with this one, what we wanted to do is get the most that we could of the secure space that we could, since we're always going off-road, overlanding, we want to try to lock up as much as we can when it's not in use, camera gear, that type of stuff. So what they've done is they've got another six inches on top for this XLS version, and this opens up, which is very nice. And what you can do, again, if you want to make this onto more of a flat, streamlined look, what you can do is this only uses these quick release pins just like these you just pull them and there's four of those and that's what's holding this on so if you wanted to we could take this out put a more streamlined look if we wanted to and then what i wanted to show you is the way that this works is this locks into the seam right here on your tailgate so as you can see right here all tailgate tables are not going to go above here anyway so this does not impede to here so what this does is slides right into here. So there's not any way, even without your, with your top off, you cannot get in here at all. So it's a really nice system. It goes underneath the lip and in here. So it's all secure. It's not watertight, but it is a secure, almost a lock box is what it is. So all your sides are secure. You cannot get on even any of your sides here. These are called the wings, side wings here. And it's just a really nice system, but there's even more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch around. We're gonna go into the back of the Jeep and show you even more of the options that Diabolical has to offer. Check this out. What other system allows you to do this? A security system with a little full access panel so you can get back here, get all your valuables if you need to, or just throw it in the back. You don't wanna have to open up the back of the hatch. Just flip your little seat down here put stuff through here. You can put some uh, boards through here. You can put a snowboard, you can put skis. Just a full easy access to not have to take the whole top off. Just a really cool little feature. But wait, there's more. Yep, that's all there is to it. it has four pins right here. We can take the whole thing out or we just remove two top pins from the top. 
bolts all the way down. So again, you have all that access. And again, we have everything I showed you before completely stored up above. It's just an awesome feature. Again, pretty much you don't need to remove this because it's only going to lose about an inch from the height. But now you can put all your, all your uh, extra stuff you're trying to carry. Okay, for our last comparison, we had shown early on the tough security, we had over three inches of space between the back of the seat to the enclosure. What has Diabolical done? There's no reason to even get a tape measure because there's not even an inch of space there. Not even, even a quarter of an inch. There's nothing. It's directly right behind the seat. So you're getting every amount of space possible for security and enclosure for all the items that you may have.